from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology and we are studying the subject organizational behavior. In our last video, we started with the second chapter that is individual behavior and we have talked about attitudes in individual behavior. Today, we are going to talk about another topic which is related to individual behavior of a person in an organization or in a daily life. This topic is perception. The topic of perception is very interesting because it is perception which is very very important in our life. Today we will be touching upon three different questions related to perception. What is perception? Why is it important to learn perception in organizational behavior? And what influences our perceptions? So let us begin with the first question. Now perception is the ability to see hear or become aware of something through the senses. It is the way in which something is regarded, understood or interpreted. Now this means that something which we take in, in our life. How does perception occur? It occurs through our senses. Actually we use our senses like seeing, hearing or we become aware through different ways like touching something and then we create an understanding about that particular thing or we interpret that thing. So becoming aware about something is called perception or in other words taking in information from outside and then making a meaning out of it can be called as perception. Now our second question is why is it important to study perception in OB? So human behavior is actually based on their perception. As I said earlier, perception is everything. Because a human being will behave in a certain way based on one's interpretation about what he or she has taken from the environment. And that is perception. So a human behavior is based on their perception of reality. Whatever they see, whatever they listen to or whatever they take in in their life. So it is about what they think and not what it is in reality. So the behavior depends on not on the reality but on the perception. And hence people in organizations tend to behave in a manner they think the reality is they think their surrounding is or they perceive people around them or the organization and then based on their perception they will behave. So this is why perception affects the organizations and that is why we are learning this particular topic in organizational behavior. Now our next question is what influences our perceptions? Now. As I say that perception is what we take in from outside and we make a meaning out of it. We know that different people make different meanings of the same thing. That means that there must be something which influences the perceptions. So let us see what all things influences the perception. So the first thing that influences is the target. Target here means the thing that we are perceiving. Secondly, the perceiver itself, the person who is perceiving or the person who is receiving the information. So all about that person will affect the way that person perceives anything. And thirdly, the situation. Now when the situation changes, the perception may change. So let us see them one by one. So first of all, the target, that is the thing that we perceive. So what all things about the target will affect our perception? The novelty, the motion, the sounds, background, proximity or similarity of a target. Now, just to give you an example, suppose you see something which is similar to something you had already seen in the past and a certain kind of experience is attached to that thing that you have seen in the past. So now you will perceive this thing in the present 
in the same manner as you saw the thing in the past. That is perceived based on similarity. To give you another example of how a target will affect perception, imagine a place where you enter and a very soothing music is going on. There is no noise inside. So it gives you a perception of a very calm and peaceful place. Or if it gives you a perception of people in that place to be very calm and peaceful. So the background or the sound will also create a perception. To give you another example about size, just have a look at this photograph which shows an office. Now as you can see, this is a very crowded office and many people are seated together and an individual gets very less space. The size of the office space for that individual is less. What is the perception about that individual's power in the organization? It is also less. You will perceive the power or authority of this person who is sitting in such an office to be less or small because the size of the space that person occupies is also less. Now have a look at this another office. It's a huge office and you can see that there is place to sit only for one person and the visitors. Now when you see someone sitting in such huge place, you will perceive the power and authority of that person to be very high in the organization. So the size or the target that you see, it first of all influences your perception. Secondly, the perceiver itself. That means when you are perceiving something, you yourself will influence the perception. The person influences the perception. That means that every person will have a unique perception of the same thing. So for that, which all things of a perceiver will influence the perception? So attitudes, personality, motives, interests, past experiences, expectations, all these things will affect the perception of a perceiver. So for that, you can see this picture. One person is showing a thumbs up and another a thumbs down. So say for an example, one person is given a task by the manager which is quite challenging and a lot of work is there. Now if this person has a very positive attitude, then that person will become very happy and enthusiastic because that person will perceive this as an opportunity to learn new things and show one's own talent. But on the other hand, if the same task is given to another person, that person will feel bad about it because that person has a negative attitude and that person will perceive the situation as tiring or a lot of work is given to that person or overloaded. So this is how the same thing is perceived by two people having different attitudes, having different personalities or different motives also. One who wants to grow will have a positive attitude. Another who is just doing the job for the sake of doing will have a negative attitude. One who is having an expectation of growth out of uh, this particular task or an expectation of learning out of this particular task will become happy. But another who expects that his life will become miserable when he has to do such a new task, then the perception is negative. So this is how the perceiver himself or herself decides or interprets about what one sees or hears or takes in from the environment. And the last influence on the perception is the situation. Like time, work settings or some social settings. So when we say that perception is based on situation, that means that the perception of the same thing can be different in different situations or at different point of time. For example, if you see this picture and if I tell you that this woman went to a wedding in this particular attire and it was an Indian wedding where everyone was wearing it traditional, 
then what kind of perception everyone in the wedding would carry about this woman they all will think that this woman has a bad dressing sense but on the other hand if the same clothes are worn in a corporate or in a meeting or during a presentation then everyone around will have a great impression so of the same thing in different settings with different people the perception will change so these are the three factors which influences the perception of a person and how we perceive things people situation or even our own self will decide our own attitude in life